In this video we will look if ChatGPT can help us to write CSS faster and more efficiently. So what I want to build today is a registration form with email, password and username and obviously submit button and two links on the bottom which is login and forgot your password. And actually this is a typical registration form that we want to implement responsibly. So here am I inside ChatGPT and let's try to get as much as possible from it to write our CSS. So let's write here create pretty registration form with email, name, password in CSS and HTML. And let's have a look what it does. As you can see it generated for us quite a lot. We can see here form container with some styles for our form, then styling for each one. Actually I don't like this because I want to create an additional class for our h1 and obviously not this, where we're writing styles not for specific element but for input type text email password. It will certainly work but this is not the best code that we can get. Here we get some styles and some styles for submit button and for hover effect. And this is the markup of our form where we get just a form and label input with required field and without any additional wrappers. And this is how it looks inside browser. As you can see we already got quite a lot, it is already styled with shadow and h1 here and all these fields are looking much better than just default form. And we even are getting hover on our submit button. The next thing that I want to do is wrap every single label and input in additional section. In this case it will be easier to style it. So let's write here wrap label and input in additional div. As you can see here what it changed inside CSS is this form container form group. This is exactly our section and actually it created for us margin bottom 10 pixels so it is looking nicer. And now here inside our markup we can see that every single group is wrapped in additional form group and this is exactly what I wanted. Now I really want to get rid of this input type text email password and submit, this is not what we want. So let's try it here, add classes for form, inputs, labels and submit button instead of input type. So these are the changes that ChatGPT did for us. First of all here we can see styles not for every single input type but for form control, which actually means this is our new class for the input. And here we have our class for the button. Now here inside our markup we see form container, form form group, form label and form control. And actually I would say that this naming is really awesome and readable. Realistically we already got enough from ChatGPT to start tuning it because ChatGPT really shines to implement all this boilerplate for a CSS feature. And from now on, from my perspective, it doesn't make that much difference if we are writing commands inside ChatGPT or we're just changing CSS on our own. So first of all here what I want to change is font size for our labels and our inputs. So let's write here make form label class 15 pixels and form control 18 pixels. As you can see here we got our changes for the label which is 15 pixels and inside form control we have 18 pixels. And this is why our form is looking nicer. What we are missing inside our form are two links at the bottom of our form. So let's request this now. Add login and forgot password links at the end of the form. Make them gray and render on the left and right side using flex. As you can see here the code that we requested works, we have a link on the left and on the right. But let's look on CSS and HTML. So here what we got, we got three things. First of all form container link, link right and links. And I fully agree here with links because I wanted to separate these two items with flex. But essentially this code is not needed because here text align left and right doesn't do anything because these are two elements which we will set left and right. Which actually means we could move this color gray here inside links and then we don't need this class link and class link right. Actually it is enough to have just div class links and here inside to href. 
So as you can see, we have here some room for improvement, but we got from ChatGPT quite a lot. And the last step that I want to do is make our form responsive. So let's just request that. Let's write make our form responsive. As you can see here, we got just a small change, this media query style, where our max width is 600 pixels, and when it is less, then we are applying this form container width 90%. Let's try this out with and without responsive styles. So before it was like this, we are making our form smaller, and it doesn't happen because we have fixed widths. But now with our media query changes, we are making our form smaller and it is looking nice and it is still readable. So as you can see, ChatGPT can help us quite a lot in writing CSS. And actually, if you are interested to know 5 ways to use ChatGPT right now, make sure to check this video also.